All right, let's switch gears to discuss the Blazers, who signed Dame and CJ to big contract extensions over the summer. The Oregonian spoke to CJ recently and asked him if he expects Portland to follow the trend of load management after the success that Toronto <laughs> love it. had in limiting Kawhi's minutes last season. <laughs> CJ said, quote, we're not some big super team. I don't think we have the luxury to sit out, especially with how competitive the West is going to be. The race in the Western Conference is extremely tight. I don't know if we can afford to kawaii it, so to yes. speak. You'll kawaii your way out of the playoffs. Yeah. Is this BS or real talk? Trade market. That is yeah. So good. Yeah, it is absolutely. Go ahead. I mean, that is so, that is, that is CJ Shade right there. He's so like, surgical. And I think I've heard other guys in the NBA have this conversation. Like, this isn't, they take pride in being able to play all 82. And when Kawhi has been load managed the way that he has. But rightfully last, so because of injury. Rightfully so, right. yes. But that, that is a point of pride for guys like CJ and Dame who are going to go the other way on it and play every single game. Plus, it's also positioning the, Blazer, the Blazers, who in a lot of ways are the one of the West's most cohesive teams that have come back yeah. from, they, they've mostly returned their team intact. They should be considered a team that knows what it's doing out on the court. That's their way of saying, oh, we're still the underdogs. But but Dame and CJ, they're right. They do carry a tremendous load because outside of Yusuf Nurkic, who gave you like about 15, 16 mm -hmm. points per game, no one else was in double figures. And mm -hmm. let's look at this. Like, the amount of miles that these two run. They're both top five in the league in miles, like 1.55 miles per game, 1.47 miles per game. This is why you see, a, uh, see CJ say, I'm not going to Team USA. Because he knows mm -hmm. he has to be conservative, especially in the offseason, because his load is larger. You know what I mean? When it comes to basketball and him running and being that versatile um, scoring threat alongside Dame. So I get what he's saying, but there's always like another level of shade and surgical nature to mm -hmm. what CJ says, and I enjoy it. You know what's interesting is that all the the analytics types, um, whether it's 538 or the different projections, you know, nylon calculus, I believe. I, I don't want to throw the lump them in because I haven't seen their projections for this season, but I've seen the 538 ones year after year after year, and it generally underrates the Blazers for whatever reason from a yeah. talent perspective. This year, their makeup is different. They used to be loaded on the wings, um, mm -hmm. you know, like they had those kind of stretch four type guys. They don't really have those stretch fours now anymore. They have a bigger team. Uh, in this era, they've added Hassan Whiteside. Uh, but I do think their chemistry, Damon CJ's chemistry, yep. as long as they're healthy, allows them to be able to overachieve because they're so familiar with each other. I am curious to see how the Whiteside thing mm. plays out because Whiteside can give you 20 and 20 on any given night, but then unfortunately he's also capable of giving you a 5 and 5 and pouting. Right, so Damon CJ wanted to bring Hassan in while Nurkic is dealing with his injury, and that to me is a Really interesting point to kind of focus on when it comes to the Blazers. Yeah, that was their big move, and it's kind of on them to make it work. Yeah. I mean, that is when you vouch for somebody, that's your word now, right. too. Yeah, and Terry Stotts also deserves a ton of credit for yeah. them kind of having the success that they've had, certainly over the years. All right, speaking of Dame, Shaq just dropped another diss track another about Dame. <laughs> they've already gone through a few rounds here, but in this last installment, Shaq went at Dame's shot selection saying, quote, you shoot too much. Dudes on your team uh, hate it. Is this BS or real talk? I'm going to go BS on this me one. Me too. Yeah. Come on. Like, Shaq actually was winning me over last week because mm -hmm. I thought his argument where he just points at his num the number of rings he has, right. throw it back to the most dominant ever. Shrapnel also, at Trevor Ariza yeah, all of a sudden. Saying that, yeah. like, look, I'm the first one who paved this road for you. Those are good arguments. But taking a shot at hit Dame's shot selection, yeah. I feel like I just transported back to when he used to beef with Kobe. <laughs> I mean, like, did we just go back and relive that? Yeah, yeah no, yeah. But it's just funny because, the, first of all, Dame is killing it. Like, right. I love yeah. this frame I go away. I mean, Shaq sounds great, but, like, yeah. Dame is doing it for the current culture, and right. I'm here for you. You know I'm Team Adidas, three-stripe life, so. Um, but when it comes to Dame <laughs> and, and this rap battle, it's cool, but uh, I think it's all surface level. It's all surface level. Yeah. I don't know if Shaq really means, like, to really go for the jugular. Yeah. Oh, you shoot too many shots? Like, who cares? He went <laughs> bye, bye, bye yeah. in the playoffs, and that's what was iconic. Yeah, well, and I think Shaq's point is you went buy, buy, buy when it matters most, right? Like, that's kind of what his position has been in this. Look, I think it's fantastic for both, but I, I'm with you. I, Shaq may have had some deeper cuts because at the end of the day, as Ramona pointed out, he's got rings and uh, finals MVPs and all that stuff. But Dame's flow is yeah. incredible. Dame is wave. Incredible. And Dame doesn't hide behind the puppet either. No. Nope. The puppet. The puppet's, I don't yeah. know, I kind of like the puppet. Uh, maybe Shaq so. was mad because he didn't get the puppet action when <laughs> Kobe and LeBron were getting the puppet yeah. action, you know? Big fella, come on, man. We love you. You know it's all just love. You, they, both of them are making it fun at they least are. this offseason for sure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.